Cody Rhodes is set to address Solo Sokoa on this week's edition of WWE SmackDown, coming off of Cody's win over Kevin Owens at Bash in Berlin, and coming off of Solo making it clear that he would challenge either Cody or Owens uh, for the WWE Undisputed title after Bash in Berlin. And so it all comes back together again, right? That Cody and Solo may be headed towards a rematch here, or WWE may be uh, sending us uh, in that direction only to swap it to something else. But if we are going to get that rematch, and if we are going to figure out exactly why they're doing it, and perhaps what storyline developments we're going to get coming out of that match, then I think you can uh, understand why this may be the direction that WWE is going in once again. You all know. We talked about it after SummerSlam. Uh, Was it the best match on the SummerSlam card? No. But it was the one that was built for the biggest moment, and that was the return of Roman Reigns, who made his comeback after all the interference, bloodline rules, and it was Roman uh, who ultimately helps Cody retain the title against Solo, but the goal has not changed for Solo since then. It's been the same from the start after WrestleMania 40. Solo wants that title back in the bloodline, and perhaps this is going to be his next opportunity to get it. Now, I know everyone is not going to be a big fan of Solo having another opportunity to win this championship. However, if we start to perhaps connect some dots here and figure out, okay, are they going to do this match? If so, when are they going to do it? Well, if Cody is addressing Solo on this week's SmackDown, that would make you think that this is a match that's coming up soon, right? Now, Bad Blood would maybe seem like an obvious destination because that show is a month away, Atlanta, Georgia, and perhaps... That is one where you want to have Cody on the show in the main event, and it's a WWE Undisputed title defense, right, against Solo. I have said, and you guys know this, in the Bash in Berlin live stream that we did after that show, I just don't know that WWE can go back to Cody versus Solo as a PLE main event right now because I just don't know that you can sell people on the idea that Solo is going to win this championship even in a second opportunity. Uh, And I also don't know if you can sell people on the idea that this match is going to matter outside of the interference that will likely take place at the end of the match. Because of that, now you can start to understand maybe the best option for this. And is this WWE's plan? We'll find out probably on SmackDown on Friday if this is indeed the direction they're going to go. Because why? Well, we have to get Roman Reigns back into this thing at some point. The Bloodline beat him down, as we know, several weeks ago. Uh, Reigns was advertised for the SmackDown on USA debut, which is going to happen next week on USA Network. But he was pulled from that advertising because, well, he got beat down by the Bloodline. And maybe it's also because WWE has something else in mind for that particular show. If you are going to do Cody versus Solo Sokoa and it's not going to be the Bad Blood main event... Well, wouldn't it be nice to be able to do that match in a big spot on the SmackDown on USA Network debut? I think that has to be the leading option right now for this rematch. If, again, this is the direction we're going in and this is not some kind of swerve to get us maybe back to Cody versus Kevin Owens uh, or to get us to something else, if it is Cody versus Solo, that is the rematch. We're getting it. Then I think it is most, you know, best placed on that SmackDown on USA debut. Because why? We've said it for a while now. WWE is going to do something big when they make these swaps. All of their television swaps that they're doing, Raw, SmackDown, NXT. We just saw it on NXT on Tuesday night, right? They advertised a big match. It's going to be Julia's first match in NXT. She's going to take on Roxanne Perez. That's a huge match for the the debut for NXT um, on the CW, right? Raw, eventually, when we get to Netflix in January, you better believe that that first edition of Raw on Netflix is going to be loaded with all sorts of huge things to get people to that platform and get a lot of eyeballs on Raw. Now, for SmackDown, it's a little bit different. You're going for Fox. You're going to USA Network, where you already kind of have a built-in audience because Raw has been on the USA Network. And so you can understand that maybe this doesn't feel as big uh, as a Raw moving to Netflix or anything like that. But it's still huge for WWE because you're taking an audience from Fox. You're trying to get them to now go to USA Network out of habit every single week. And to do that, you need something big. Now, you could say, well, Cody versus Solo is not exactly a huge main event for that reason. But if you're invested in the story and you know what is likely to come from it, 
Cody versus Solo is a pretty big main event because that could mean, right here as you see it, the return maybe of Roman Reigns or it could be the return of Jimmy Uso, Paul Heyman, and there are a lot of other options you could do there. And so for me, I think if you're going to bring Roman back into this thing, if this is the way that you're going to do it, then I don't think Bad Blood is the best place to do it. I think it is the SmackDown on USA Network debut. And because if you're having Cody address Solo on this week's SmackDown, I just do not think you can build this match up again over a month's period of time to get back to Cody versus Solo for the next month because I don't know that you have, you know, all of those different story, um, you know, directions to go in that you did maybe leading up to SummerSlam. I don't think we're there now um, because remember that was kind of built off the heels of Solo pinning Cody Rhodes in that six-man tag at Money in the Bank. So you don't really have that here. And so to me, this one needs to be sped up a little bit uh, to get to Cody versus Solo. I think the best place to do it is going to be on that SmackDown on USA Network debut. Um, and if that is the case, then you have to ask the question, well, if Cody is going to face Solo on the SmackDown on USA Network debut, which could feature the return of Roman Reigns, even though he was pulled from the advertisement, we could certainly understand why Reigns could come back uh, and you know have that huge moment to go off the show on that first episode. Um, you could have, as we said, the return of Jimmy, the return of Heyman. There's a lot of things you could do there uh, to kind of put some things in motion. But, you know, the one thing you still have to think about is what is WWE going to do with Cody Rhodes at Bad Blood? If it is going to be Cody versus Solo uh, on the SmackDown on USA Network debut, what do you do with Cody at Bad Blood? Well, I think there are a couple different options you can work with here. Like I said, you can definitely go back to the rematch with Kevin Owens. And we mentioned why all the reasons in the Bash in Berlin live stream that Owens was definitely adding more hints more layers to the story and to the idea that he is going to eventually turn on Cody Rhodes at some point because you can kind of see it in the mannerisms, right? He was hesitating, doing all that, but you kind of saw that killer instinct Kevin Owens come out just for a little bit of you know time there. It didn't throughout the entire match. It didn't sort of stay after the match, but you could tell that the hints were there. So you could see them getting back to Cody versus Owens, and maybe that's where Owens turns, right? Maybe Owens turns at Bad Blood, or maybe he turns in the lead to that. And so you get this Cody versus Solo match out of the way. Then you get to Cody versus Owens um, at Bad Blood, and maybe that's also a place where you can kickstart the Cody versus Randy Orton feud. That's something that I think is interesting to work with. Another option, and I've seen some people talk about this, and I, I will say that I'm, I'm pretty intrigued by this idea. Could you have Cody teaming up with Roman Reigns on that show? Could you have Cody and Reigns take on Solo and Jacob Fatu? Now, wouldn't that be a fine main event tag team match for Bad Blood in Atlanta? That would be quite a main event to have Cody involved in. Now, you would still have Cody within the stratosphere of the bloodline. And I think at some point, you've got to kind of get Cody away from that. It's not going to happen over the next couple of weeks, probably. But, you know, they are going to get away from it at some point because you are going to go back to the stuff with Owens, I think. you got the stuff with Orton, you know, building for the future. And so Cody's not always going to be tied to the bloodline like he has uh, over the past couple of years. But it's still there right now. And so if, hey, you could do a lot worse than having a, a big main event tag team match where Cody and Reigns team for the first time to take on a solo and Jacob Fatu. Uh, now the question is, who would win? Who would lose? How do you get out of it? Those kind of things, right? Um, I think that Cody and Reigns would probably win that match. But again, that's a hypothetical. And you may wait and have Cody involved in the War Games match at Survivor Series. Don't know. These are all things that I've seen people talk about. Uh, but it's really going to all depend on when they decide to do this rematch. If they do decide to wait and drag this thing out until Bad Blood, then, you know, that opens up a few more things uh, as to how you tell the story moving forward. But if you go ahead and do it now, you know, within the next week and a half, you do it, SmackDown, USA Network, and you know it's still a match that people are going to be waiting for the finish because they know there's going to be interference, um, which you can get away with a little bit better on a, a weekly television program than you can for the second time on a PLE, you know, in a span of three months or whatever. So my guess is, that's where we're headed. Um, I've certainly been wrong before, and I just, again, am thinking of it from a logistic standpoint. And I do feel like uh, the Cody versus Solo is a main event that makes sense if they are going that route uh, for SmackDown on USA. And I think you find another route uh, for Cody to go at Bad Blood, which you could also, you know, maybe have Solo uh, in a match at Bad Blood too if it doesn't involve Cody. People are wondering, is that where you get Reigns versus Solo? I don't know that you get that just yet, but hey, it's Bad Blood. And if you're going to bring out stuff, you know, a tagline like that, if that's the name of the PLE, then, 
there's a lot of things you can do into what is already going to be a loaded card, as we mentioned. You know we're getting CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre again. You're likely getting Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan, probably getting Damian Priest versus Finn Balor, um, and there are other matches you know that you would expect to be added to that card too. So um, Gunther versus Sami Zayn. Um, so yeah, like it's a pretty it's a pretty fantastic card so far, and that's where if you're thinking ahead, trying to figure out what Cody's going to do, uh, maybe what Roman Reigns is going to do, some other options like that. These are all things. I think they're on the table. But you guys give me your predictions. What do you think is going to happen with this Cody addressing Solo Sokoa? Do you think they do the rematch on SmackDown the following week? Or do you think they hold it off to Bad Blood? What would you like to see Cody do at Bad Blood? Do you want to see him have the rematch with Owens? Do you want to see him have the rematch with Solo? Do you want to see that tag team match maybe with Roman Reigns or some other combination uh, for Cody at that show? You guys, as always, love your feedback. Uh, love to hear your thoughts. And again, be sure to subscribe button. Hit the like button on your way out. And let me know your thoughts on what WWE's plans could be for the Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sokoa rematch for the Undisputed title.